Yes. Hello, hello, everyone. Good to see you. And uh, I hope you can hear me. Someone send me a hands up or thumbs up. Okay, watching. We apologize for the difficulties. All right, seems like, yay, we got the thumbs up, perfect. All right, seems like everyone's in and uh, those who are participating, welcome to round two. Those who are joining us, this is our family Olympics. We will have uh, our about 25, 30 questions for the participating families. If you are not in this round, just watch, it's gonna be fun. All over the world, people are trying creatively, trying to communicate and compete. And uh, there's a huge chess tournament right now. I don't think we have too much sports going on. So this is uh, going to be sports and trivia and fun time. And same as the last time, I'm going to invite our host, Mrs. Romanenko. She's gonna explain how we compete in five different categories and um, wait for her. Good evening, everyone, families, parents and students, and welcome to round two Family Olympics. And my name is Tatiana Romanenko and I'll be your host for today. And so we, um, if everybody can log in um, the players, we have seven players uh, today with us. And I just wanna um, read out their names, who is playing today, who's competing for the grand prizes. The Bobbin family, Malasha family, Daniela Smaglo, Lukiana family, Luda Kasuga, a. Zhukov, Mastruk family, the Galakas, Anastasia, Chuba, Chuba and then Enshkarin are the 10 winning families that won um, the first round and they are competing in the second round. The first place winner of the first round was Bobin family and the second place was Malasha clan. Third place was Daniela Smagla. Okay. Are we ready to compete? Is everybody, we only have seven players logged in. Um, so if everybody, all the players can log in um, with the code that was emailed to them earlier, um, about um, 20 minutes ago, um, we can do that. If you can do that so we can start playing because we're running a little bit behind due to technical difficulties, unfortunately. Just okay. Um, Eighth player, I see. Awesome. Thank you. We're so glad that you can join us to root for the 10 players that are um, competing today and to be a part of our TCA family. Okay. Um, the first question will be a uh, practice question just to make sure that um, everything is working and that we are ready. Okay. It will be worth no points. Okay. So are we ready? Okay, here's the practice question. Mm. Okay, question number one, three, two, one. And what is TCS ma mascot? Is it a what is TCA's mascot? Is it a book or is it eagle, Mustang or torch? Eight people got it right. It is a Mustang. Yes, it is. Correct. Okay. So that means all of our the eight, eight players are ready to play and everything's working correctly. So we'll go through this quick. Um, and yes, awesome. So give me a second. Okay, are we ready? Oh. <laughs> okay, question number two. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, question 
the real question number one. So are we ready? All of us have our families and brothers and sisters gathered up because we, you need all the help that you can have. Okay, three, two, one, go. What was Sarah related to Abraham? How was Sarah related to Abraham? How was Sarah related to Abraham? Eight people got it right. She was the half sister. Awesome. Next question. Before World War I, Russia produced approximately as much bread as which countries combined? Before World War I, Russia produced approximately as much bread, bread as which countries combined? Okay, we have five answers already. 12 seconds remaining. 10 seconds. <laughs> So yes, we have almost everybody logged in. Okay, so the answer is Argentina, USA, and Canada combined. That is correct. Three, three people have it right. And let's see who is leading the board at this moment. Malish of Clan is leading the board and following Zaniel and Kasuga's family. Awesome. We still have a lot more time to go, so lots of things can change. TCA Studio held monthly live shows in 2012 and 13. Who was the show host? Let's go back to two, year 2012 at TCA. TCA Studio held monthly live shows. Who was the show host? This is this is a tr pretty hard question, so you have to go back in year 2012 and think who was the live show host in 2012 okay now let's see who got yes three people have it right it is miss mukamal yes she was our live show host for that year okay let's see who moved up yeah people are switching around that is awesome okay ready for next question okay fifth question number five what animal was Absalom riding when he got caught in the oak? What animal was Absalom riding when he got caught in the oak? You got to make sure you get everybody together. People who know Bible, who know math, who know TCA um, life, um, TCA life, because who went here for quite some time and everybody so we can win it as a family, not just individual. Okay. And the question, the answer is the mule. Yes, four people have a right. So majority of us know the answer. Yes, next question. Oh, Bob and family is moving up. Okay, what was the name of the military commander who sent Paul from Jerusalem to Caesarea? What was the name of the military commander who sent Paul from Jerusalem to Caesarea? Woo, everybody's right on the answer. We all know that one, huh? Okay. Yes, A people have it right. Next question. Okay. According to tradition, who founded Kiev? According to tradition, who founded Kiev? The beautiful city of Kiev that we all know and love and visit, most of us. Um, and the Ukraines, who was the founder of Kiev? Oh, five answers. Somebody, some people are still thinking. It is a tricky one because there's a lot of common uh, common names. And um, okay, well, the correct answer is the blue one. So four people have it right. I won't read it because it will take too long. Uh, the next question, we're going to go back to 2000, year 2011 at TCA. Okay, let's kind of go back mentally. Are we ready? Okay, let's do it. When in the year of 2011-12, every single class at TCA had a name. What was the sixth grade called? In the year of 2011-12, every single class at TCA had a name. What was the sixth grade name called? Busy ants, scholars, shining stars, or discoverers? 
You gotta be, you have to be here to know it, or at least nine answers. Wow, that was fast. And the discoverers is the correct name. And five people have it right. So that means most of us are here and we all know the answer. That is awesome. Okay, history lovers, this one is for you. What is the largest concrete structure in the United States? What is the largest concrete structure in the United States? And this one has a lot of different questions. So think before you answer, because they're all variable. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have everybody logged in and the Grand Coulee Dam, yes, correct. We live here and it is the largest structure in the United States. Aren't we fortunate to be here and to see most of us, I'm pretty sure seen it. That is awesome. So who didn't know that? So you know it and you must visit. It is very nice and beautiful. They do have laser shows there too. And let's look at our lead board. We're all, everybody's switching around right now. Daniela Smoglu is leading, Bob and family, Malashev and Lukyanov and Meister family. Awesome, it is uh, unpredictable. And so that is the whole point of this game. Awesome, are we ready for the next question? We are almost through third of the game. So get everybody together. Awesome, next one. What job or career did Amos have? What job career did Amos have? All of these careers are the one who wrote the book of Amos. Who was, he, what job or career did he have? Because lots of them had careers, some of them didn't. So nine people and shepherd. Yes, six people have it right. And he was shepherd other than writing the book of Amos. Okay. Bob and family switched with Daniela Smoglo. Okay. Awesome. Zhukov is, uh, just came on the board. Welcome. And let's see where it leads us. The next question leads us. Okay. Who was the first music teacher at TCA? Again, we're going back to TCA. Back, back, back. So who was the first music teacher at TCA? That is very, very... The, all these teachers... We're at TCA, so I'm pretty sure some people have a hard time knowing. Yes, no, no, nobody got it right. <laughs> nobody have got it right. It is Lubov Mazdrin. Uh, she was our first teacher, uh, not Tatiana Homer. So we'll know that for next time, right? For next year when we prepare for Family Olympics, but we'll probably do it not live, but an actual. Um, we'll know that for next time. Bob and family, nothing changed. Next one. Next question. When was the United States Declaration of Independence adopted? When was the United States Declaration of Independence adopted? Lots of similar dates, but that's something we should know because we live here and we celebrate this beautiful holiday all together. So this is for who beautiful job nine people uh, that is awesome so let me see the scoreboard and 13th question who first introduced the people to Kievan Rus to Christianity who first introduced the people of Kievan Rus to Christianity to Slavic people who first introduced Christianity to to, to Slavic people so um we just um Cross the one third of our questions. So um, get your energy stuff going. And hopefully, yes, it is King Vladimir ordered Baptist in, in Dnipro River. Six people had it right. Awesome. Ready for the next question and see. Ooh, people are switching up. Daniela Smogla and Bob and family are just switching back and forth, back and forth, really wanting that first price. And Zhukov is moving up a board. Lukyanov, awesome, still there on the board. Okay, we're almost one, th we're over one third of game. The country of Moldova is named for a river which flows through which countries? The country of Moldova is named for a river which flows through which countries? 
country or countries? So you choose. You guys are doing awesome. Most of, I mean, most of the questions, uh, just for people who are watching, they're not the questions that uh, they were prepared for, that they practiced for. So all these questions are uh, surprise questions. 90% of the questions are surprise questions. So one person got it right. It's Romania. So now we know a little bit more of history. And, and who, let me see. Yep, still the same. So now we know. Next question. This one is... TCA first fundraising event included all uh, all of these but one. So you have to choose the one that did not, the TCA did not do. Okay. TCA first fundraising events included all but this one. So choose the one that they, we didn't do, the Russian, selling Russian jewelry. That is correct. TCA did not do that event. And maybe it said something to look forward to. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, Bobby and the family is leading Daniela, and everybody's still the five people are still leading the board, and they're not, they don't want to leave. <laughs> so, okay. And then the this next question is for people who do side jobs and mow lawns. Josh mowed six lawns a day and has 164 lawns to mow. How many, how long will it take him? So Josh mows six lawns a day and it has 164 of them to mow. So how long will it take him? How long, how many days will it take him to mow all the lawns? Yeah, that summer's coming up. So, uh, so we'll do uh, that math pretty often now. Okay. Yes, 29 days. It will take him 29 days um, if we do a little longer. But yes, awesome. Great job. The math was at uh, your family is doing a great job. Okay. Okay, Malisha just went up. Yep, ladies, Agalaka is the highest answer in, thrust, in, in uh, streak of three. Awesome. Yeah, and then people, let's just, the, the people who are not on the board, uh, get your other family members together and maybe they can help you because we need all the Bible, the math, the history, all of us together combined. Are we ready for the next one? Do we get our waters, our coffees, anything that kind of gives us gives us a little bit of uh, thinking um, energy to think? Okay, we're almost through half the game. Whew. Seventeen. What was the result of Russian Revolution of nineteen seventeen? What was the result of Russian Revolution of nineteen seventeen? Okay, the result, four answers. We're still waiting for, I see everybody's just getting those answers right. And let's see who is, seven people got to rise. Lennon sees the power, unfortunately. So let's see what has changed. Okay, still everybody on the same board. And next question, 18th question. Which church hosted TCA second campus for three years? We all should know that for the people who went here. Which church hosted TCA's second campus for three years? This is the first year they were all together and it's a beautiful thing. Teachers love it, kids love it. It is a blessing for us to be all joined here together and not having the two campuses. So thank you for all who volunteered. Okay, let's see who knows that. Yes, six people, CPCF. That is the correct answer. They, ho they hosted us for three years because we grew. That is a great thing and a blessing. Okay. Let's see if anything changes. Malashev, wow. Bobby and Malashev are just switching off. Zhuka Vukyanov, Daniela, you guys are doing an awesome job. I mean, right there behind them. So anything can happen, anything. You know, it's a game of chances. Of knowledge. Which of the following is the correct nickname for Tacoma? A place where most of us live. Which is the following is the correct nickname for Tacoma? It's a beautiful place to live. I love it, and we all love it. And what is the nickname? Probably never crossed our mind, but it does have a nickname. 
And it's a beautiful one. I, I would say all of them, but they only called it the city of destiny. Good job, nine people. It is the city of destiny. Ooh, Daniela Smuggler just moved on, moved up. Great job. Awesome. Keep up the work. You probably have everybody together, probably even your mothers and grandfathers, uh, grandparents. Awesome. That is the whole point of this game. Awesome. Next one. At 969 years, Methuselah was the longest lived man. Who came in second at 962 years? Again, at, uh, at 969 years, Methuselah was the longest lived man. Who came in second at 162 years? That's a long time to live. Everybody have has it? Yes. Jared is the correct answer. Only three people answer it right. So now we know it's Methuselah, then Jared. So next time, next game, um, anywhere, we know the answer. Beautiful job. So we are down to, I believe, does anything change? Bobbin just moved up. They probably have uh, correct answer correctly. Malisha clan is leading the board. See, anything can happen. Okay, ready for next question? I am. Okay, question number 21. What was the name of the land of Slavic people between 862 and 14, 1242 CE? What was the name of the land of Slavic people between 862 and 1242 CE? 16 seconds left, 15, 14. And the answer is Kiev, Kievan Rus. Yep, most of us got it right. That is correct. And anything changed? Nope, we're all st st still. And we are done with our two thirds of our games. <laughs> so let's, let's get ready. What king of Judah became king at age seven and was aided in his reign by the saintly priest Jehoiada? What king of Judah became king at age seven and was aided in his reign by the saintly priest Jehoiada? Age seven, pretty young but he was aided by a priest. It is Josh, and most of us didn't get it right. So you, now you know what the answer is. Okay, let's see if anything changed. Lukyanov just moved up. Okay, awesome, see? That means you answered right, so you knew the answer. Okay, let's... Do this. Students at DCA ate 21st pizzas and three slices of the 25th pizza. Pizzas were cut in eight equal pieces. What is the fraction? See, TCA memory. TCA ate, uh, students at TCA ate 24 pizzas and three slices of the 25th pizza. Pizzas were cut into eight equal pizza uh, slices. What is the fraction? Do you remember the Pizza Fridays? My kids remember that very well. They miss it. Yay! 24 pizzas and three eggs. Yes, we ate lots of pizza. We miss those days. Next question. Let's see. 24. Which school activity, activity makes high school students become real teachers for a day? Which school activity makes high school students become real teachers for a day? Principal for a day, students teaching a day, self-regulated day, or students council day. We all know it. Yes, it is self-regulated day. Actually, I had to help one of those. It was amazing. The preparation that they did and how thankful they were to their teachers that the, because they um, felt how hard, hard it takes for the teacher to prepare the lesson and everything. So that is very nice. Now, parents, unfortunately, know how it is too. <laughs> okay, Lukyanov moving up. Woo! Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Whew. Let's do this. Who was Mikhail Gorbachev and what and what did he accomplish? Who was Mikhail Gorbachev and what did he accomplish? 
Was he the second person who orbited the Earth? Mm -hmm. General Secretary of the USSR? That's for you to answer. Or one of the Russian evangelists who was persecuted? Famous composer? Which one is it? Let's see. Yes, he was General Secretary of the USSR. Not the second person to orbit the Earth. And not the evangelist, for sure. <laughs> okay, let's see what changed. Nothing much. Okay, steady, going steady, right? Okay, five more questions left. Which island did Paul end up on after being shipwrecked? Which island did Paul end up on after being shipwrecked? That's a beautiful island. I, I want to go to a similar island. But which one is it? He was shipwrecked. He ended up on an island. And what is the name of the island? Three, two, one. It is Malta. That is correct. For most people who answer it right, it is correct. Okay. Four more questions left. So, so bear, uh, bear, get your thinking cap on and let's do it. Okay, let's see what changes. Bobbin family is in a lead now. Malashev, Lukyanov, Zhukov. Anything can change. Four more questions. Okay. When did U.S. become 50 states? When did U.S. become 50 states? Was that August 59 or February of 1912 or January of 1912? Similar questions, but... Um, just FYI, Hawaii was the last island, and the one before that was Alaska. So when did, a hint, Hawaii become the last state? August of 20, August 21st of 1959 is when the United States had all 50 states. Yes, including Hawaii. Beautiful state. Uh, island, uh, state. Where did Mr. Morales take his ninth grade students for the science field trip in the fall of 2015? Where did Mr. Morales take his ninth grade students for the science field trip in the fall of 2015? Again, we're going back in 2015. Mr. Morales, if anybody remembers him, and who was a student there, where did they go? Okay. Eight seconds, and they did go to Eastern Washington, not the OMCI, which they actually did go quite some time. But um, <sighs> Malashev is leading. I've been moved down. Everybody's still staying the same. Two more questions, I believe. Two more questions. Ariel bought a new phone for $495. She'll pay off an 11, an 11 equal payments. How much is the each payment? Ariel bought a new phone for $495. She will pay it off in 11 equal payments. How much is each payment? Yes, most of us, the older kids, are buying phones and they have to pay it off. So this is a good math question for them to know. Everybody got it right. Everybody's paying something off, so they know it. It is 45. That is correct. Two more questions. Are we ready? Mentally, physically, everybody really, really thinking. For, for several years, 10th graders used to go on a two-day graduation trip to which, to what city? 10th graders. For several years, 10th graders used to go on a two-day graduation trip to this city. Which city is it? There's a lot of 10th graders. 11, 10 seconds left. And it is Seaside. Most of us answer that. Seaside, that's where they usually went for two days of their graduation trip, which would they enjoyed it very, very well. Everybody's holding steady. Last question, everybody, last, last, last question. So this question would determine who is the first, pra first prize winner, second place winner, and third place winner. So this for this one, you really need to get together as a team and do this. Three, two, one. What is the oldest state in the United States? What is the oldest state in the United States? What was the first state 
in the United States? Is it Maine, Delaware, New York, or Pennsylvania? They're all on that side, so. Delaware, yes, for the five people who had it right, it is Delaware. And are we ready for the results? Everyone who's watching, I think we're not mentally ready. <laughs> are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh, we, hurry up. Third place is Lukiana family, yay! Second place, Biden family. And first place is? Let's see, let's see, sorry. Malashev clan, wow, that is amazing. Who knew that this could game could um, just turn around like that and people are moving up and down and that was, that was the excitement of all of this. And I hope you enjoy this and people playing especially and people watching us and kind of being uh, part of a TCA family where we can't do this physically and see you. But through here, we can um, still see each other. And now I'm going to give off my microphone to make announcements. Good evening. It's my privilege to congratulate the winners of today's uh, round and announce the prizes. So, uh, place five winner was Daniela Smaglo. She will receive a yearbook of this year. Place four winner was Zhuko family. They will also receive a yearbook for 1920. Now, the third place winner, which received, uh, which was the Luciano family, they will receive a hoodie of the, whichever size they choose. Second place winner, Bobbin family, they are getting a registration fee uh, for any of the students that they choose. And finally, the place number one winner, Malisha family will receive an annual fee waiver um, for any of the students they choose. This is it for today, but look forward for another exciting ga game that we will uh, I, that we will announce really, really soon. Have a good evening. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Зачем ты? Зачем ты это 